This is the quick start guide on how to put your Apollo together. You wanna to have your battery on top of the cart. For the cart, there are these bars here that screw in with these bolts. Simply place them on the front and the back and hand tighten these bolts on. That will secure the battery to the cart. And then you can place the Apollo on top of the battery. It is always recommended to have the battery below the Apollo and not to have more than one battery and one Apollo per cart or two batteries per cart for tilt hazard. On the back, you have two battery connections as well as on each battery for expandability. Notice it is an upside down smiley face. I'm going to take the red labeled battery cable. I'm gonna set it up in an upside down smiley as well. I'm gonna push it on and then this simply twists and locks into place. It is now not going to come out. I'm gonna do the same for the bottom. Now that these two are joined together, I can flip up these switches, turn them on and then close those switches back. Notice the MC4 connectors right here for solar input. It is important to make sure that you line up the positive and negative with their associated colors. So I'm gonna go red into the positive and black into the negative. And I'm using the long side of this DC cable with the DC switch to get connected to the MPPT here. You have your car charger, wall charger, communication cables if you have more than one unit, battery expansion port down here, and grounding lug right here. This is the only unit that is TUV certified. You have a reset button here, your power button here, and this sticker will be on top of these MC4 connectors when you get it out of the box. Now our unit is turned on. First thing I'm gonna do is click this flashing finger. That will reset the inverter to be set up for this configuration. I'm going to click settings. Working mode is UPS, so I can wall charge and output from the outlets at the same time. I have energy saver mode off. If I want it on, that will simply turn off the inverter when there is no load and then turn on the inverter when there is load demand. Unattended mode is also called your dark start mode. This will allow the unit to drain to 0% and turn off. And then when the solar panels recharge the battery to whatever percentage you select, I'm going with 20%. Once the battery is at 20%, it will turn the outlets back on and continue to run anything that was connected. Parallel mode, we can do single, split phase, and three phase. I'm in single mode with one unit. I'm gonna make sure I have that selected. Language display settings and your Wi-Fi reset for when you connect to the app. The screen is removable and on the side, there is a USB-C charging port and a power button. I'm going to hold the power button and turn the screen back on. These are the charging pins for the screen when it's connected. And then here's your QR code to be able to add it to the app very easily. The screen is now reset and I can control the entire system remotely. I'm gonna turn on the inverter here. We'll hear a beep. And now these outlets are live. In the accessories, there are these leather handle covers that go here on the Apollo unit. I'm gonna show you how to connect solar panels. You can have up to 500 volts VOC and you need a minimum of 120 volts VMP. You get those numbers from the sticker on the back of your solar panel. The short side of this breaker cable is what's gonna have the solar panels go into it. Green means safe, red means energized. So off is green, on is red. That may get confusing. I'm gonna keep this in the off position. I'm gonna bring my solar cables. I have 10 400 watt solar panels. I'm gonna connect them here. And now that it's connected, turn this on. We will hear a beep, and then we will start getting a readout here on the screen. There's 4,000 watts input, and that's about what I have connected, so that's perfect. This is the advantage of high voltage, is being able to get high input. The reason this dropped down is because the battery is full and so there's nowhere for that 4,000 watts of energy to go. So now it's going to slow down any input to keep that from going into the batteries because it has overcharge protection. I can take this screen and put it anywhere I want, put it on a USB-C charger, or I can just put it right back here, keep it on the Apollo, ready to go at all times. I absolutely love the Apollo. It is the best unit on the market in my opinion. I have not been paid by High Solus to tell you this stuff. I'm just showing you how to put this together. Hopefully this guide was helpful. Make sure to go to poweredportablesolar.com if you're looking at ordering one of these to get any discounts, support, lifetime guidance and help, as well as extra accessories for the system itself that are included in the kits.
be prepared. This is the way that I choose to have backup power from my house because it's so expandable, has high solar input, and is very easy to add batteries. It can run everything that I need it to do with the single unit, all 120 volts up to 3000 watts output is incredible. And I'll show you in more upcoming videos how you can put two or even four of these together to run an entire house off-grid permanently. Thanks, and I'll see you in those videos.